day 21, poems for the lockdown, and today's poem comes from William Matthews, Time and Money. Uh, William Matthews is one of my all-time favourite uh, poets and American poets who published much of his work in the 80s and 90s, and this, his last collection, Time and Money, is absolutely fantastic. And the poem I've chosen is one that combines his facility for the comic with uh, the macabre and the wryly self-knowing. And the poem is titled Last Words. It wasn't Oscar Wilde who said, Die, my dear doctor, that's the last thing I shall do. But Lord Palmerston. Wilde said, either this wallpaper goes or I do. William Pitt said, Oh my country, how I leave my country. Or, in an alternate version, I think I could eat one of Bellamy's veal pies. Everyone dies alone, according to the tough guy swagger, though none who made it into Bartlett's did. Gather witnesses. Some may serve as straight men. May God forgive you, a French priest intoned, but the urbane corpse-to-be waved him off. Of course he will. It's his metier. And there's someone whose job it proved to remember those last words. Someone else lit a candle by Voltaire's bed, and he raised an eyelid. Flames already? Memorability comes by practice, but you can be too ready, as Henry James was. Here it is, he said, at last, the distinguished thing, and then lived long to think what a shapely phrase he'd spilled. Study the masters is, as usual, the best advice. Or you could try the worn nostrum laconic 19th century mothers gave their daughters for wedding nights. Relax, you'll think of something. Let nature take its course.